Okay. These problems are very similar to the ones you're going to be completing tonight for homework. Okay, so if we look at the question, the area of the rectangle is 42 square centimeters. Its length is 7 centimeters. As soon as we find out that we're solving for area, we're going to write our area formula. Area is equal to length times width. We know that our length is 7 centimeters. And we know that the area of the rectangle is 42 square centimeters. 42 is equal to 7 times the width. 42 is divided by 7 is equal to our width, and our width is equal to 6 centimeters. If I draw a second rectangle with the same length, but a width that is three times as wide, I need to make sure that I'm finding my length, which was seven, and using it again. And now multiplying my previous width by three. The dimensions of Charlie's second rectangle is seven by 18 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of Charlie's rectangle is going to be 7 plus 7, which is 14. 18 plus 18, which is 36. And 36 plus 14, which is 50 centimeters. Moving on to problem number four. We are going to draw again two rectangles comparing Betsy's rectangle and oh, just Betsy's. Okay. And the, I'm sorry, I'm going to compare Betsy's rectangle and the rectangle at the park. Okay, so if we look at Betsy's sandbox, once again, we know that it has an area of 20 square feet. And it has a one side, the longer side, that is equal to 5 feet. Area is equal to length times width. So the missing side is going to be equal to 4 feet. Solve for its perimeter. 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4. The perimeter is 18 feet. If we look at the sandbox at the park now, its length and width are twice as long and twice as wide as Betsy's. So I'm going to take the dimension of Betsy's where it was 5 and multiply it by 2, get 10. And I'm going to take her shorter side of 4 and multiply it by 2, which gives me 8. The area of the sandbox at the park is equal to 80 square feet, and its perimeter is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 which is 36.